If you're looking for ways to socialize and build confidence in your puppy or an older dog of any age, then this video is for you. I'm gonna take you inside one of my private training sessions and I'm gonna introduce you to a very powerful next level socialization exercise that quality, many quality working kennels will do with their dogs. And it's something that you can do today with your dog. Plus you're gonna to get to see a vibrant little pit bull puppy named Echo as she goes through all of the steps that I'm gonna teach you for the very first time. You see, not only am I gonna teach you this, I'm gonna give you five levels that you can add on and keep the momentum going as your dog becomes more and more confident. This exercise is very simple, it's very fun, and it's an extremely powerful way to have your dog learn to try hard on its own and become more confident, more socialized, and many things that it not otherwise would be. So let's get into the video, shall we? What I want you to do, part of socialization, one of the things that I really love, and I recommend you do it, if you just get some water bottles that they're not gonna spread out everywhere, and even if you do, some people will use the shaker cans in pet training and, and, squirt, and like the, the rattles to startle. I'm, I'm not into that a lot just because of the working dog aspect and I want you throw that at my dog and I want him to not care, right? But confident building, what I'd find is one of the things that we can do and anything that we do in the home, it doesn't, if you can't get out, so much you can do at home prep work to build so much confidence. For example, just the pool itself or, you know, like I say, people, places and things. Right now we're just going to use this kiddie pool no bottles in it right now so just to have her come forward you can walk to the pool and there's no pressure we just let the dog explore on a loose leash and now just fire a piece of food or two in there and this tells you a lot about the dog right so this is great and then call her out when she eats that you'll call her to come and you'll walk backwards so you're literally just going to give her a little pleasant experience because this is all different texture and this is part of socialization and all the more skills and the more social and the more, it's just gonna build more confidence, okay? So that's good. We don't have any issues. Now, if your dog was to come and is really nervous and wouldn't get in there for, look, she's like, hey, where's the food? Okay, no problem. So then call her out. If the dog wouldn't go in here, then this is where we throw the food in. This would be the dog dish until your dog is in there this enthusiastic. Then we're going to kick it up a notch. But just this aspect, until your dog is getting in there with fire in their eyes, like when you go to the gym, the 20 pounds might be tough. Next week it's a little easier. Go to 25 pounds or 22, like, but don't go to 65, right? So we're not going to fire the dog in a pool with a bunch of bottles, that's too much. But she's doing it good. Some dogs won't and it might take them a few days to get in there and eat, but that's where the food comes from in there. And then they have to get internally driven to say, okay, it's time to go to the woods and hunt. They go into the woods and they hunt and they get the food and it's success. So now what I will do is I'm gonna add some more weights. What I like to do is I'll add empty bottles. Let's say you don't have all those bottles. The other thing you can do is put some rocks in the bottles. That's your second next level, right? And people, no matter how good the dog is, there's always another level for us. No matter how successful and confident, we're, there's always another level. No matter how strong you are, there's another level. If you want what you want from me, and social is the biggest thing right now, confidence, another level. Always keep it that way. So, let's just put in another level. I'll get a few more, because this is uh, you know, more noisy. Once the dog is good, getting into the pool, your phase two, another level, just put something in there that's a little bit different. So I got some water bottles in there. Like I said, you don't need tons. You could put rocks in them. Now walk her up to it, drop in a couple pieces of food, three or four pieces, sprinkle them all around. Not a problem, even over here. Yeah, look. No problem, now call her, come, run backwards. Perfect, yay, and sit in front of you. Beautiful, I'll put more in. Add more weight to the bar. Okay. And that way, when you sprinkle it in next time, she'll have to put her nose down through some bottles. So now I'll just sprinkle a couple pieces of food where the bottles are and then let her go in on her own. Yep, Loose leash, just let her go. Yeah, just hold the end of it. Good girl. Now, what I want you to do is go right in. See how she's kind of a little bit? Yep. So, that's that next level and she was a little hesitant. Yep. Okay, 
But now she's in, now she's committed. Now, what am I gonna do? Some dogs have jumped out, some dogs are gonna keep going. Here's what I want you to do now. She's nervy. Slowly, we don't wanna scare her, but when her head goes down, good girl, you just give a little, that's a good girl. So when you're touching her, she's like, yeah, okay. Dad's happy with that. And he's still here. She jumps out on her own. And no, we're just using the food, right? Like she's into it. So now, what could be another level of getting the dog confident? Next level could be just, now I'm gonna just watch the dog. Like if it was to be nervy, then I gotta ease up on the tapping, but maybe it's gentle. Maybe if I hold a stick out, the dog's nervous. So now I have to use something. So be super creative because this is, socialization should be just so much fun. See that? She's like, oh, he's a little nervous. I'm gonna keep the stick there. Yeah. Right, drop in a little bit of the food. Look at the tails. Where she's gonna recoup, so this is great. We don't close the restaurant right away. Yeah. Trial and error, trial and error. Oh, the woods is a little scary there. The temperature dropped. I think I'm gonna just get out of the pool for a second. Yeah. <laughs> okay, once she's back into it, and then you just, you let her know you're there, because we want her to be touched so that she's not gonna be jumpy when she's in nervous. Good, right there, that's all you need, perfect. Now this is good to do. Now here's where it's not good to do. A lot of people will say when a dog is pulling and they're looking at someone that they're nervous of, right? And then they go, and they're like reactive. And they're like, shh, calm down. It's okay, it's okay, calm down. That will tell the dog, hey, rip his left arm off. So we don't do that. We say, shh, stop that, pay attention. But this is where we do want them. Don't be scared of the environment. So now that she's confident, dropping a little bit more, and now she's in there good, this is where I'll sprinkle in a little bit of high value. Say, here, dude. Now she's like, oh, wait. This place pays more than 10 bucks. I found a 50. I found a 100. You're going to go back and search that beach, <laughs> that pool. So really, I'm just stirring the pot. And if I see her act fast or nervous, I'm just going to keep it. But each time I do it, I'll stir the pot a little more. I'll stir the pot, a little praise. Stir the pot, a little praise. So there's one thing I would highly recommend. Now, drop the leash, right? And just say her name, and if she looks at you, run backwards and call her and see if she'll come. Just wait, just wait till she looks to you, because she probably might not even hear you there. Come a little closer, and just get her, get her attention, even if it's a gentle little poke, and then just run backwards. Say echo, come. There you go, run, 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 backwards, backwards, keep going, and sit the front, perfect. Look at that, this is a little puppy, nice. There, so there's an exercise for socialization to things, and it builds a lot of confidence. Okay, what do you think? Can you set that up and do it? I hope you get great, incredible value from this video, but I also hope that it's inspired your creative brain to kind of get creative and think about other ways that you can socialize your dog and build even more confidence in this video. If you liked the video, let me know in the comments below what was your biggest takeaway? And if you can think of at least three other people, friends, family, or anybody that could benefit from this with their dog, then please share it with them. I'm sure they'd appreciate the love, and I know I would. Plus, it also helps me help more people, and I love that. If you're a professional dog trainer, canine handler, or companion pet owner, and you're wanting to take things to the next level, not only with just your dog and your dog training skills, but your overall life, then head over to unleashedpotential.ca or dukeferguson.com and sign up for a free course and you'll learn how my training and coaching services can help unleash you and your dog's full potential. So thanks for watching. I know Cole and I do appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, be sure to do so now. Turn on the notifications so you don't miss another video when we let one out. And there's some here on this page you can continue on your learning journey. We'll see you in the next video.